What's up guys, it's James here. And in today's video, we're gonna go back to one of my famous listing breakdowns. If you're new to the channel or you haven't seen one of my past listing breakdown videos, what we're gonna be doing in the video today is I'm gonna go on to an Airbnb listing from a viewer here on the channel who submitted their listing to me. And I'm gonna take a look and share my feedback on it. I'm gonna share my thoughts on every element of the listing and really break it down uh, so that we can learn uh, together what does really well on Airbnb, what doesn't do so well, the pros and cons, and hopefully you can learn from this to learn uh, you know, things that you can do to help your listing perform better on Airbnb in the future, uh, whether you want to manage other people's properties on Airbnb, whether you want to invest in properties for Airbnb, whether you're already hosting. Uh, and by the way, we've got links in the description down below for all three of those different things. So whether you're someone that wants to earn a full-time income managing other people's properties on Airbnb, Got a link in the description down below for a free training that's gonna tell you exactly how to do that, give you all kinds of great tools and resources to do it. If you wanna start investing in properties for Airbnb, you wanna actually you know, build long-term wealth and amazing po uh, positive cash flow from actually buying properties for Airbnb and short-term rental. Link down below in the description for a free training that's gonna walk you through exactly how to do that and give you some great tools to help you get started and go on the right path. Uh, and then last but not least, if you are already hosting on Airbnb and you just wanna improve your numbers, improve your performance and get more detailed insights on things that you can do to really just improve performance and decrease the amount of time you spend managing your property, uh, then again, a link down below in the description for a free training that we put together for that. All those trainings are completely free. All of them give you some really great resources, really great insights from my over seven years of experience with property management, hosting, and investing on Airbnb. So without further ado, let's dive into it and we're gonna take a look at this listing uh, hosted by Renee. So this was uh, listed along, uh, you know, submitted to me quite a while ago. So if any of you guys do have listings that you would like for me to review, uh, just let me know in the comment section down below. So uh, just post a link to your listing in the comment section and I'd have review it. So this is a pretty cool listing. Um, right off the bat, I, this is my first time looking at it. Um, this is an Airbnb Plus listing. So that, for anyone that doesn't know, means it's gone through a much more extensive vetting process um, with Airbnb and a lot of the photography is likely by Airbnb. Um, it's in Kangu, Indonesia. So really cool, um, sweet villa, really highly rated. So let's start at the very top with this headline. Cool villa with art and design, quiet area, middle of Kangu. So that's a cool headline, that's pretty good. Um, my, my recommendation for the headline is always that we do something that's gonna really um, highlight the main attraction features of the listing for potential guests. So, um, you know, what I'm gonna assume here for the sake of this video is that the people that are looking for this villa are gonna be people traveling who are looking for something really cool, really funky, cool design. They want something quiet. They want it to be centrally located in Kangu. And so this title, if that is true, is really great. Now, if people want, you know, to be in a, in a party area and they want something, you know, different than, uh, than this, they don't care about design, they don't care about art, and they're looking for a party spot, this is a terrible title. But if we assume that, hey, you know, people that are the avatar our guest, your ideal guest that you're looking to attract, does care about art and design, they want a place that's quiet and they want to be central in Kangu, then this is great. Um, next, let's look at the photos. We're gonna spend some time on the photos here. Uh, and the first one we wanna talk about is the cover photo. So this cover photo is the first one that people are gonna see that's gonna stand out. It's also gonna be the one that's in charge of getting them to click through to the listing, right? Because what they're gonna see primarily when they are searching through listings, when they're looking on Airbnb, is they're gonna see this headline and they're gonna see this cover photo. Um, so the cover photo and the headline are really, really important for that reason. They're what's gonna get guests to actually click through to your listing. Um, so it's important that the, that the main cover photo be really stunning which I mean let's be honest this is an amazing cover photo super cool space it's got this opening to the outdoors really nice furniture I love it I would choose the exact same photo myself so I think that's great um, and then we kind of go through here I'm just gonna go through the photos in order I know they've got a little bit different organization with Airbnb plus listings but I'm gonna go through these in order um, this is great it showcases the stunning part of the property this is just so cool with the art in the back I already want to book this place so I love this photo and I love the decor as well uh, they've done a really great job of adding decor pieces beyond like above and beyond what you um, what you would expect in an Airbnb and that's what Airbnb plus plus listings do a great 
great job of is they're not just the basic bare necessities. They actually have character, they have uniqueness, and this is amazing. Like this is a place that I really want to go just for the sake of going to this property, which is incredible. It's exactly what you want. Again, this furniture, like this, you know, incredible wood here with the glass top and the lamps and the colors, everything about this is just amazing. I love it. You know, this piece specifically, this photo, um, this is showcasing something that's very unimportant, right? Um, so a lot of people shy away from photos like this because like who cares about the table, but this is such a great photo to include because it's such a, an eye-catching piece. It's so, it sets the mood. Um, not all your photos should be about showing the space itself. It should also be about showing the mood, helping guests to envision themselves there. And this photo does a great job of that. So don't shy away from photos like that. Again, coming back to this photo, and now we're in the kitchen. So, you know, big stunning kitchen. That's awesome. It showcases like a bunch of different stuff. You've got the knives, you've got all the cutlery there, you've got all the plates. So you're just, you know, you're. it's clear that it's fully stocked. You've got a great big fridge there. You've got the charcoal barbecue. So again, just, you know, answering a lot of potential questions guests would have. I would have captions on these photos. That's my one critique so far, is that you really wanna have a caption, especially on a photo like this, that really highlights, hey, there's a charcoal barbecue, fully stocked kitchen, all those elements that, you know, guests might potentially overlook in the photo and they just wanna have confirmed. You know, what kind of coffee maker is that down there? It looks like maybe there's a coffee maker there, maybe not, I'm not sure. I wish that question was answered in a little bit more detail in the caption there, would be a perfect spot to do it. I also am, I'm not clear um, so far the, the other thing is I would add some more shots that just kind of make it clear what the layout of the property is. Because from here to here, I have no idea how we get, got here. I prefer to lay my listing photos out in a way that it's sort of a virtual tour through the property. I always like to showcase some stunning pieces up front. So I would like, you know, let's jump forward a bit and I would probably have something like the pool, like if we just kind of come out of here, um, if, if I have something really awesome to showcase that I know guests are gonna absolutely love, um, like I'm assuming this place has a stunning backyard, but it takes so long to get to it if they're, yeah, so this pool, it takes so long to get to this shot of the pool, but this is gonna be such an important piece for why guests are gonna wanna book. So you're, you're counting on them getting so far into the photo. So I would have shots like these ones um, up at the beginning. I would have one of them up at the beginning, like right after this photo. Um, and then also have it in a natural progression throughout the photos. Um, so I'd have it in both places just so that it doesn't, you know, it pops out to me right off the bat. So that would be one thing I would also do is just showcase those kind of like um, high value amenities for guests right up front and then have some more, um, have some more of a, like, some more trans transitionary, I guess is the right word for it, shots um, to uh, to help people understand how they're transitioning through the space, how the space is actually laid out. But the, I mean, the photos themselves are stunning. They're really well done. The lighting is great. The staging is done very well as also. Um, so you'll notice here, these are some great shots here. Again, I wish there were captions on these photos to just give me some of the details. What the heck is this thing? Is it an espresso maker? Is it a water filter? I have no idea. Maybe it dispenses wine for all I know, I wish. So yeah, like all that stuff, Stuff I wish was answered in captions. And then we just kind of jump over to a bedroom. I wish I knew where this bedroom was. Is it up a floor? Is it on the main floor? Um, question not answered. And then like, it's not even clear that this is a bedroom. You almost think this is a second living room. So it doesn't necessarily make it crystal clear that that's what it is. You know, we don't really have any, it's, it's somewhat obvious that all those photos are tied together, but there's not one good shot of like the whole room. And I would love to have one wide angle shot of the entire room so I could see the whole thing. But otherwise, I mean, these photos are great. The layout of the space is great. The furniture in here is amazing. I love it all. It's so like so much light coming in here. This great, great big thing over the bed is really cool. Again, like I think the place is really done well. This is incredible. Like the artwork in here is awesome. I love this photo. And then again, so this is a great example of what I was talking about before, where this, you, you go from this photo to this photo, and they've kept this as a constant that really stands out, where you can see this headpiece or whatever that is. You can see it in this photo and this photo. So it's very clear that this is the exact same room and that it overlooks out onto the pool. So that's great. Whereas in here, you just don't really have a lot of overlap. The only overlap really is that TV that you can see there in both places. I would just do something a bit more to make sure it's very clear that it's the same space. Whereas in this bedroom, I think they did a fantastic job of that. And they've got a little workspace there, which is fantastic. That's gonna add additional value for the guests. You've got another photo there, that's great. Same thing here where we've got the cool headdress, but a different color, different theme, that's awesome. And then 
This one, yeah, you're carrying it through and you can see, okay, so I don't know, I assume this looks like it's a different bedroom, but I think this one opens up to the pool as well. So I would showcase that. So again, I think the photos are, you could have like easily for listing this big, you could have 60, 70 photos even. And a lot of people shy away from having too many photos. And I've just not found that to be true. I've not found that having more photos, as long as they're not, a, a, you know, very redundant photos, uh, I haven't found that having too many photos becomes an issue and actually hurts the listings performance. So I would, I would definitely have more than photos that they have here. Cause this one it's, it, you know, it looks like it opens up to the pool, but it's not really highlighted. I would highlight that this one, great photo. Yeah. I like this again. This one highlights that it opens up to the pool. You can really see it clearly. Um, here's a really cool bathroom. I, again, I have no idea where this is. So like just some transitionary photos would be great. So I can get a better feel for the space itself. Um, and then this again, like I'm just not really clear on if this is the same bathroom or a different one because I don't know where that shower is. Yeah, I'm really lost here. I'm really unclear on, I think this is a different bathroom. I'm almost certain this is a different bathroom because this has a single vanity and this has a double vanity, but yeah, that's super unclear. Again, and now I'm kind of back to another bathroom. I think I'm back to the original bathroom now, but the, yeah, I think so. But now, but just laid out differently. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense because on one hand, the, the vanity's on the left, but the toilet and the towel rack and the bathtub are all the same. And then here, the toilet's on the right. So I think that's a third bathroom maybe. Yeah, super unclear and the captions don't answer any any questions. So that I think is bad. I think that's just like poorly done the, the way the photos are structured there where you've got a bunch of bathrooms, I think, but there's no clarity around the fact that it is multiple bathrooms. So yeah, I think that's the bathrooms overall. These photos are bad. Um, like the photos are good. The photos themselves are good, but like the way that they're structured just does not answer. It leaves me with more questions than I started with. Um, so I don't love that. Yeah. This photo is awesome. You know, I love that the table is set, that the table is set with place settings. I would set these last two place settings. I don't know why they're not set because like this is going to, going to be attractive to a large group of people. And what I worry about now is that like, you just don't have enough table settings for these other two, two spots. So I'm, I'm kind of concerned about that. Cause I've found that when I go to larger listings, that can often be a, uh, be an issue where they just don't have enough um, place settings for everyone. So yeah, I would be concerned about that. And I would just, I don't know why you wouldn't have the, have it all filled up and then otherwise everything's great i love that you've got some nice fresh flowers for this um, i wish it was a bigger bouquet but otherwise like you know it's great this kind of day bed is cool but i have no idea where the heck it is so that's kind of sucks i wish i knew where that was this is a weird shot i would take this out um it's just bad oh I would showcase this space a bit better and differently because I don't know where it is. It looks like a cool spot to just kind of chill though. And then I don't know how this, I, yeah, I just, I'm so confused about the layout of this property because there's so few photos that do a good job of actually like showing the, the layout. Overall, I think this place looks stunning and I want to go here, but I think that the, the photos really did not do a, like they're, yeah, it's, it's tough because I don't want to bash on it too hard because like the photos are incredible. They're amazing. And I, like, obviously you had a professional photographer come in here. I'm sure it was one of the ones that Airbnb gave you, but that's kind of my gripe with Airbnb photographers is that they don't do a great job, honestly. Like I just don't think they do as good of a job as they could. Um, and I, I think that listing performance is going to suffer just based on the fact that like there's so many questions that go unanswered here. So right off the bat, I would add descriptions and then I would also get another, get a photographer to come back in and get some of those more trans, uh, transition shots and then get some, uh, some of the better shots, like I mentioned, um, in some of those other, other areas, but like, you know, overall in the, in the big picture, you're, you're still sitting at an eight out of 10. I just think that there, there is room for improvement, but certainly it's not like these are anywhere near bad photos. They're fantastic photos. It just, there's so much, I, I wish that this property was better because the property itself is so spectacular that I just wish the photos did it justice a little bit better. If that makes sense. Let's look now at, okay. So eight guests, four bedrooms, four beds, four baths. Okay, cool. Four bedrooms, four beds, four baths. Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah. I would, I would look to maybe restructure that. I don't know who your ideal guest is, but uh, maybe it is like larger, just groups of friends, but it, it, I found it to be a good idea to have like at least one or two bedrooms with, uh, with two single beds. So that there is the option for families, but maybe you don't want families there. That's totally reasonable. Um, fair enough. 
So yeah, I, I also would have expected this property, just uh, one other note that this property could sleep a lot more than eight people, just with the, the sheer size of it. So I would consider adding additional accommodation to sleep a larger group of people so you could have larger groups of friends. But again, if that's a personal choice you made not to allow those people that many people into the property, then fair enough. Dine al fresco with a roof overhead in a huge open air living space filled with color, art, and lush greenery means no problem, a philosophy that comes to life in this dream home where the outdoors and indoors blend together in pure harmony. Creating memorable holidays is what we do. Yeah, I like that. Um, that's good, like it paints a good picture. I like it. So the photos, cool. Yeah, so this is great. Like you've got great captions here. Why on earth did those captions not end up in, in the photos? Those should be in the photos so that all this detail is there in the photos. And then, yeah, I just don't love the way that Airbnb Plus listings are laid out, frankly, with like the details just being harder to find. If you can, I don't know with Airbnb Plus if you can add a more detailed description that kind of has a list of amenities. Like this just makes it, this I don't love because it's not really structured properly. I'm like, it's not organized in a nice, easy to understand and like kind of navigate way. I want to be able to look at each room in the house and then decide like, because if I have a question, how do I get the answer to that question? So for example, you know, is there a coffee maker at the property? Well, I basically like, it would just be a lot easier if instead of having to come in here and I look and I read each one of them, full kitchen, maybe that means coffee maker. Okay, here's the one that says coffee maker. Great, I found it. Um, as opposed to It'd be nice if I could just if I could just pull up a list that says kitchen as a as a header, and that's what I recommend doing in your description is just have it um, have a general amenities header that are the the kind of most desirable amenities, and then have it broken down into rooms, and then have each room have like the the list of amenities that it has. So if I could just go kitchen, coffee maker, what brand is it, blah blah, blah boom, then I can just find the information I want more easily, uh, which is great. So otherwise, everything looks really good. Yeah, I mean the reviews are fantastic. Yeah, nothing else to, to really report on here. Uh, check in after two, that's nice. Check out after 11 is great. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. The only other thing is pricing, uh, which really, you know, I can't tell without knowing the area, uh, you know, how optimized the pricing is. But I'm gonna, after this video is done, I'm going to check out the pricing and see if I can book myself a stay potentially. So yeah, love the listing, looks super cool. There's a few areas for improvement. So I hope that you guys got value from me going through this. This is a fantastic listing to do it on because there's, um, you know, just so, so much that's done right on this listing, frankly, that I think, um, yeah, did a very fantastic job. Hopefully you guys learned a lot. Again, check out the links in the description down below for free trainings on everything that you could possibly need around Airbnb and short-term rentals, whether you want to earn a full-time income managing properties on Airbnb, you want to uh, invest in short properties for Airbnb, or you want to just improve your hosting on Airbnb. We've got free trainings for all those and more down in the description down below. So check that out. Um, if you like this video, if you got value from it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that like button. Give me a like on the video. It helps me out tremendously. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest on this channel, then make sure you press that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the two new videos that we post every single week on this channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.